So many of us looking at that wildfire and looking ahead, we're getting close to Labor Day. Natasha, we can't help but think but what we dealt with last year. So yeah. tell us how the conditions right now compare to this time last year. In many ways, they're the same and in a few key areas, it's very different. So here's what we're looking at. If you look at the white squares, that's our forecast heading into Labor Day and just beyond. The orange squares represent our temperatures from last year on the same day. So as we're forecasting temperatures the next couple of days in the mid 80s, this time last year we were already in the 90s and in fact climbing up to the mid 90s. And then we saw a break right around Labor Day of last year. At that same time, that's when we had those extreme winds pick up from the east. This time around, though, we don't have those kind of winds in the forecast. That's one key difference. Let's talk about the rest of the differences that we're seeing. Drought conditions. Now, the drought last year, not nearly as severe as what we're seeing this year. In fact, last year, only 18% of the state of Oregon was in that severe drought category. This year, though, Almost 100% of the state is dealing with this severe drought category. That's key. Also, looking at the summer period. Now, last year, oddly enough, the summer period leading up to the Labor Day fires wasn't nearly as hot. We're actually hotter this time around. So when we look at this year, we are now at two years in a row of the severe drought category in Oregon. We've dealt with record heat, extreme heat so far this summer. But the difference is we have had no extreme winds and we have no extreme winds in the forecast. But there's a look just at the last six years of summertime temperatures. And you'll notice we had a really hot summer in 2015. And of course, this being the second hottest in the last six years with temperatures almost four degrees above normal. So those are some of the key differences. Let's take a look at that big drought map. Here's what it looked like last year. And again, remember I was talking about that severe drought category. That's that red color that you see right there on the map. And that accounts for about 18% of the state. And now that was last year. Now look at this year. See dramatic difference in terms of our drought conditions leading up to it. So good news is no big wind event in our forecast. Uh, we hope to keep it that way because right now we are just tinder dry and all it would take is a big wind event to see a repeat of those Labor Day fires. All right, Natasha, thanks. And still